Hey everybody, this is uh, Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's about 4.20 on July 10th, 2014. We're going to look at the chart <clears throat> after I remind you that the website and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look. Starting out here on a 15-minute chart, the first thing that becomes very obvious is the fact that uh, our little pattern that we were looking at yesterday, remember, we were uh, I was a little on the fence about whether or not this pattern right here was going to be a bear flag or whether it was going to be a legitimate bounce off of this trend line that uh, has worked uh, a, f a few times in the past. You see this trend line goes all the way back to the breakout level when we got over 1900 and we've got one, two uh, good solid touches on it. But today we uh, got underneath it um, pretty much as a gap, gap lower. Then we spent uh, much of the day regaining a large portion uh, of that lost ground. We had a high around 1970 and the low was around 1953 and change it appears. And um, so here we end up right on these two trend lines. This one being the support line and this one, as you recall, is just a line that actually has its defining characteristics. Let me adjust this just a little bit. Um, back with these few touches uh, back in late April and May. I, I don't know how important this is. Um, kind of hard to say this is going to have a lot a lot of uh, effect but it's still on the chart and that is uh, about where we bounced so um, interesting to note that if we look at the last four days four, well actually we can look at the last five days it looks almost like an exact repeat of what we saw happen back in uh, in late May and that is we get a pretty strong bounce up off a uh, rising support line after after kind of staying close to that line for a while we have a nice move up okay we were close to this line nice move up sideways another little bump up a sell off bear flag sell off and then a recovery that's the exact same sequence now that's no guarantee that we do the exact same thing but it is interesting to note again if we look at it let me just make a little circle here so we can compare it like this there is the initial well first off here is the uh, small rally that sort of stays near a support line. Small rally that stays near a support line. Nice initial move. Nice initial move. Maybe I'm taking too long to do this. Sideways. Sideways. Break out over the sideways. Break out over the sideways. Downward momentum downward momentum bear flag bear flag second move down second move down just really interesting that we we have almost a repeat in the past five to so oh, actually if we go back to here about in the last eight to nine days that we had in the uh, um, nine to ten day period right here so if that's the case, then maybe it behooves us to reconstruct something similar to what we have here with these trend lines that I just today made a different color. 
So if we create a parallel line, there it is, parallel. Gee, imagine that. It sort of fits. Another parallel line, this one will not fit as well, but it does work on these bottom two. And if you look at it here, you can see that um, where that little sideways um, move is, is almost in the exact same relationship to this lower line. So all of this to say, if we get over this line right here, then I think we would likely start to rally back up again. Let's just see. It'll be interesting to see if it is, in the, in the words of uh, Yogi Berra, if this is going to be deja vu all over again. So guys, um, if we move in and look at a five-minute chart, frankly, um, I don't think there's anything much more to say about this. I mean, that initial reaction was met with a little bit of selling uh, at some time in the early afternoon, but not a huge amount. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Let's see if, if the S&P can regain its footing over this lower support line. And if it can and break out over this line too, then, then again, I think that would almost certainly be the setup for 1990. If the wheels come off, and world events or whatever just become so bad that the markets cannot handle it, then I think that would likely, um, as far as the chart damage that might occur, I believe that would took place. That would take place with a break of this line right here. If we get down underneath 1940, then I I think we we may be running the risk of not getting to 1990. Um, and that doesn't mean we never get there, but I think we might be running the risk of, of any immediate or short-term achieving of that goal. So for right now, we close right on this line. We uh, came down underneath it, but obviously the S&P said, no, we want to get back up in there, got over it just a little bit, under it a bit, then closed right on it. And again, just to reiterate, between this line and this line, it looks very similar to what we have here and here. So let's see if that similarity continues through uh, tomorrow's trading. Certainly would be uh, interesting if it does. Uh, right now, we sit on a reasonably important line. Any line that is above us is currently resistance. Any line below us is likely support. So, um, you know, kind of hard to say right now. And the fact that we got so close to 1990. Well, let's just put it this way. If things were to start to break down, then I would I would probably try to start lobbying that uh, that 1986 was close enough for that pattern because as you recall our inverted head and shoulders pattern back here there was a little question about exactly where this neckline should be and that would alter where the target should be as well. So guys, I don't think anything's busted yet. Again, here's that lower trend line that I've talked about. If this breaks, then I think we're almost certainly going to come back down and test the lower 1900s. So let's let's hope we don't break this. Let's hope we get on up to that 1990. Um, not going to doubt very seriously that will happen tomorrow, but uh, maybe sometime next week. So let's just keep an eye on it together. Thank you for your time and for your attention. And I especially want to thank you for your very, very kind support.